my name's Hannah Mitchell and this is my evaluation for my music magazine, Beat. We were asked to create the front page, contents page and double page spread of a new music magazine and the brief stated that all text and images must be original. In order to carry out this task, I had to consider the different stages of planning, beginning with a questionnaire. From the questionnaire results, I was able to identify a target audience, a preferred genre and the contents that attracts a customer to the magazine. Following this, I then did research into magazines that were already on the market, how they portray their individual house styles, and how they attract their target audiences. These real media artefacts influenced my own mag magazine ideas, whereby I have adapted the conventional styles of the magazines to my own style. After this, I considered how my product should be distributed, magazine names, different fonts, colour schemes, the layouts of my pages, and the images that I will use. In the end, I decided that the most appropriate name for my magazine, uh, for the genre, age range and content of the magazine, was Beat. I chose this name as it has obvious connotations of music, yet it's also simple and therefore effective. This research influenced my magazine, and through doing this, the construction became a lot easier. This is the front page and contents page of the magazine I created, and I've decided on a turquoise, white and black colour scheme, and I've chosen an image of the artist laughing. The bright colours and young girl on the cover, I think, highlight the target audience of females between the age of 15 and 17 years. The image makes the magazine more light-hearted and reflects how the target group are young and will be attracted to a fun-looking magazine. From the questionnaire results, the, su the suggested genre was Indian rock music. However, when it came to constructing my magazine, the, I decided that a pop music magazine uh, for my target audience was most appropriate as it would fill the gap in the market instead of conforming to the results I gathered from those who answered my questionnaire. I thought that this would be more successful as it eliminates competition within the ma uh, magazine market. I think this page represents the social group of youthful girls due to the cover lines combined with the images and the colours. I chose the cover, cover lines to be most relevant to pop music. For example, I've listed artists that are often in the charts and shown there is coverage from Creamfields Festival. The font used is also simple, and the contrast of black against white makes it bold and stand out, therefore attracting a customer to buy the magazine. The contents page's job is to navigate the reader around the magazine, which I think I've done successfully. I've continued the house style through colours and fonts, and shown page numbers to indicate where the reader will be able to find that specific content. Mm -hmm. The use of the images on this page is ideal, as it gives the reader an insight into what will be in the features and as an aspect of the other magazines I've researched into that are already on the market, that they also include a range of images on the contents pages. I think that this page is also successful in representing the social group I aim to represent it due to the content that is included. The language used is relatively informal and laid back, which suggests conversation with the reader. This is relevant to the target audience of older teenage girls, as it is not too immature, yet sounds like speech they can relate to. From the research I did into the magazines that are already on the market, I identified conventions that are often found. For example, the title on the front page is often in the top left-hand corner, with the cover lines featuring around the main artist's face. However, most images on the front cover often have eye contact with the audience. Um, I decided to go against that convention, as I thought it made it more laid-back and more light-hearted image on the cover and therefore attracting my target audience. After the construction of these pages, I came across problems with the colours I had used. The turquoise colour I used for the title and throughout was made up of RGB colours. This meant that when I came to print out the pages, the colours had to change to CMYK colours, where the brightness was lost and, the, and didn't look as effective. The artist's hair also looked duller and the pigments on her, on her face were not as clear as well as the bright pink colour behind the artist, an alternative image became du more dull also. To overcome this, it would be best to take the pages to a professional printer, where the correct colours can be mixed and printed to give a better effect. The double page spread is there to inform the reader of information. From the research I've done into other magazines and their double pages, I've identified the conventions that are typically used throughout. For example, the continuity of house style, the use of a drop cap, pull quotes and images all of which I've combined this double page spread. When creating the pages for the magazine, I used a software called Serif Page Plus. Personally, this is a software I was unfamiliar with. We, we did a preliminary task on Page Plus, which included creating a cover for a school newspaper. 
Looking back on this task, I feel more confident with my use of the software and have learned how to make pages look much more effective and professional. For the double page spread, I learned techniques such as linking the text boxes, which I didn't know how to do before this task. Um, this is efficient as fonts and text will change for all of the text boxes and the text is able to run from one box to another, making this easy page easier to create. Other features of the software include the FX filter effects, which I use throughout the pages I created, as I'm able to give the text and images drop shadows, inner sh shadows, and can feather the edges so that it looks more professional. Another new technology I wasn't familiar with was the website blogger.com, where I uploaded the stages of planning and production of my magazine. On this website, I learned the process of uploading new images and ed editing them, and also that my work became more efficient when I had all of it in one place and was able to view comments on how to improve. My media product would be distributed in places such as news agents and supermarkets. I think this would be ideal as other music magazines are also distributed here so the consumer will know where to look for them and can find my magazine amongst them. However, I choose to place beef between the music genre of magazines and the gossip genre as I think it accommodates both needs and will attract the correct audience in this place. I think that my product could be used by a magazine like Q. However, Q magazine's majority of target audience is more for a mature generation yet yeah, does cover chart music similar to the magazine I have created. My, my front page, contents page and double page spread may also be used by companies such as Vibe magazine, which attracts the same age range of audience and also covers similar music. Overall, I am pleased with the outcome of the magazine I have created as I think it conforms to the conventional magazine styles. I have continued the house style throughout and think I have used appropriate images and text for my target audience. Thank you.